One of my favorite sales persuasion techniques that's embedded into the gut sales method is called the stop and go technique. You want to stay in control in the sales conversation, but you got a prospect and they, they give you all these machine gun questions, one after another. You end up answering these questions and then you're just doing nothing but free consulting until they dismiss you. They have no respect for you because you're not in control. You're not the one asking questions. So when they ask you a question, you want to turn that question around. You start to answer it and then you turn around and you give a stroke or a nurture. If they ask you, for instance, uh, gee, uh, how many bedrooms are in the property? Oh, Mr. and Mrs. Prospect, last time I looked, I believe there was three, uh, may, no, maybe, what? That's a great question, Mr. and Mrs. Prospect. Why is the uh, amount of bedrooms in the property important to you? It's a great question. Do you need a certain amount of bedrooms? Uh, is that your requirement before we do business? Boom, you see, I started to answer the question I partially answered it, and then to regain control, so I'm not just doing a, a one-sided Q&A. You ever get in that situation? They're asking you one question after another. You go, oh, I know it. It's like you're a little, you're in third grade. Oh, teacher, I, did, I know the answer to that. Listen, you only make money when you're in control and you're getting respect. You, want, you don't want them to see you as a subservient, a beggar. I talk about that in some of my other vet videos. So when they ask you a question, you, the person asked, the rule really is, the person asking the questions is in control. But if you don't answer questions the right way, it becomes abrasive. So if they ask you a question, you start to answer it, then you stop. You nurture or give that great question. You must have asked that for a reason. Now, a lot of people have been asking me that question. Why did you bring that up just now, Mr. and Mrs. Prospect? And you turn it around. You give a compliment, which is what we call a stroke. I, usually I do this. And then you turn it around and say, you must have asked that for a reason. They will now justify their question. Was it just gobbledygook, intellectual BS, or was there a real meaning about, uh, about it? And they will give you more information. The more information you get, price, terms, uh, time frame, uh, who's in authority, uh, all the important and motivation. The more information you get, then you can qualify this prospect. For, for instance, if they're not ready to do a business right now, but six months from now, listen, cut your, cut your presentation short, send follow-up information, and then call them in four and a half, five months. You're not going to make a sale today. So you don't want to be 45 minutes on the phone. If, however, if they, maybe they don't have the money. If they don't have the money or the credit or whatever else you need to qualify to do a deal with them, well, how much time do you really want to waste being on the phone with that prospect? Three minutes or less, you better believe it. Time is valuable. Millionaire thinking puts up value on your time, knowledge, and energy. So you want to, you want to ask, use the stop and go technique. Turn their questions into your questions get more information and use that for the close because nobody deserves success more than you. And I do answer my own phone, 970-281-5151. Go to my webpage, claudediamond.com. You might want to read my new book, The Gut Sales Method Rules in audio and video, ver uh, in audio version, uh, audio book. I love audio books, don't you? God, I listen to a couple every week or read the book in digital version, or I can even send you the hard copy version, whatever you need. Okay, guys. And if you want a free consultation, I have a schedule on my webpage too. Take care and give good selling, give good phone.